please welcome an upcoming Walk of Famer, Mr. Jimmy Kimmel. Hi, everybody. Um, thanks. And I also want to acknowledge Ryan Seacrest. It cost him $8 million in lost productivity to be here this morning. <laughs> He's missing four jobs right now. <laughs> At the middle, I'm a little bit unprepared right now because when the Chamber of Commerce called and they said they'd be honoring Hollywood's most beloved talk show host with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, well, I just thought something different was going to happen. And, uh, <laughs> they had a choice to make and they made it, and I think they did well. <laughs> I, I'm honored to have been asked to speak on behalf of my friend Ellen. Uh, Ellen is someone that I admire. I admire her talent, I admire the way she conducts herself at all times, on camera and off, when um, unenlightened people threaten to boycott her show or her sponsors, uh, simply because Ellen is honest about who she is. She doesn't belittle them or attack them like I would. <laughs> Instead, engages them, she asks for understanding, she explains that she just wants to be treated the way she treats people, with kindness and respect. And I think that makes a difference. I think Ellen has made a difference. And some people don't have gay friends. Some people, for whatever reason, don't get a chance to see that gay people aren't any different from any of anyone. But they see Ellen on TV, and they get to know her, and maybe they start to feel like they do have a friend. Now, make no mistake, Ellen is not your friend. <laughs> Ellen is my friend. And I am unwilling to share her with any of you. Yeah, but um, I do think that Ellen makes the world a better place. And as you know, Ellen does a lot of work on behalf of, of people, of, uh, on behalf of animals. And I hope that the dogs in this neighborhood take that into account when deciding which of the many stars to relieve themselves on. <laughs> May I suggest Rick Dees, who I think has a star right over there. <laughs> Ellen, we salute you today. We immortalize you in cement because you are brave, you are inspirational, and most of all, you are very, very funny. Congratulations. Thank you, Jimmy.